today we will be seeing how to convert a JSON array of records into a bootstrap table using bootstrap references so we shall see in steps the first thing will be we should include the HTML the basic HTML structure into the Visual Studio code we should be creating an empty file HTML file and we will be including the basic HTML structure using shift plus exclamation we will be including the basic HTML structure after including the HTML structure the next step will be we should include bootstrap CSS related files so bootstrap min CSS and bootstrap table min CSS these two CSS file we should include under the head section and after that we should include jquery related that is bootstrap related jquery files under the body section at the end of the body tag we should include jquery min.js popper min.js and bootstrap min.js along with that we have to include the bootstrap table related js file also that is bootstrap table min.js that file also we have to include and after that we have to add some code snippets jquery related code snippets for that purpose under extension tab we can search for jquery code snippets that is after typing some jquery related code snippets we will be able to get the code snippets jquery code snippets and uh, under this section on scrolling under this section we will be able to see the triggers of the code so after installing after installing the jquery code snippets using this button we will be getting in the under intelligence we will be getting the jquery codes for example the first step is that we should include the document dot ready function document dot ready function under the script tag so the easiest way to add this document dot ready function into the script tag that is to type the jquery code is just type the shortcut shortcut that is the trigger keywords of the jquery here jq doc ready so jq doc ready so here you should be able to after installing this jquery code snippet you should be able to see on scrolling under this section you will be able to see all the trigger shortcuts all the trigger shortcuts of each and every code snippet so here uh, we will be all these or triggers for example of uh, everything so doc ready and for each for every looping statements so all the jquery code snippets will be present in the form of shortcuts so here jq doc ready is for document dot ready function so after typing this you should be uh, and pressing the tab you should be able to get this document dot ready function so after that so the first step is that you have to include document dot ready function and within that document dot ready function you should add the bootstrap table method and pass the data as the parameter so here you should call the bootstrap table method only when you include that uh, bootstrap js bootstrap table js you will be getting this method and after including the bootstrap table js so when you include this bootstrap table min js you will be getting this method so this method after after including the script you will be getting this method and this method takes a json object as a parameter that is uh, it it takes data as a parameter so what is this data so this here this data object is taking my data as a parameter so what is this my data so you can see here so the step so bootstrap table is a method it is taking a json object that is a data as a parameter so my data is the parameter passing to the bootstrap table method so what is this my data is that it is a json array containing a list of 
json objects so each json object contain the properties id name and date date so id name and date so these three are the json properties that is the object of each json object properties of each json object so id name and date so this my data will be passed as the data to the bootstrap table method so simple step first step is that you should add document dot ready function using the trigger shortcut method and then within that you should call the bootstrap table method and then you should pass the my data that is the json array of object into this data property of the bootstrap table after that you should create the structure that is uh, you should create the structure in the html under the head section under the th section you can include the data field matching the object of the json array so it should match the object of the json array and you can see here id name and date matches the properties inside inside the json object so after uh, designing the structure of the html table we should be able to we should be able to open with the live server that is uh, we can install the live server using the same extension we can search for the live server it automatically helps to see our output of the html page so it helps in running the html page so we can install this live server by using the j uh, that is the visual studio code extension we can search for live server and then we can install this live server and we will be able to get well on right clicking inside html page and uh, searching for open with live server and we can click this open with live server we should be able to see the output we should be able to see the output of this json data is converted into a bootstrap table so you can see here you can see here this bootstrap table so the, we have included simple bootstrap design that is bootstrap classes so success is for green color you can see here text center we will be able to see the text center here and that is text is enter the details of employee here both the text are placed on the center and we will be seeing the data field is id name and date so id name and date matches and we will be able to see this uh, bootstrap table design